Interview and job search strategies at work. Um, episode 27. So we're here with Jovan Timberlake. And uh, we're just talking strategy and. Uh, yes, hi, my name is Jovan Timberlake, and today we're going to talk about the importance of, of investing and diversifying for the future. Um, this first uh, segment will be about individuals who are under the age of 35 and how important it is to either start your own 401k or 401b um, through your work or also to even get involved in mutual funds. Um, I do not like stocks just because the versatility of stocks and stocks basically go up and down depending on other influences that are not in your control. Uh, for example, we'll first talk about the 401ks. A lot of employees will either match you up to 1% or 3% or even 5%. So basically what that means is that if you make $30,000 a year and you put 3% in, they will match you up to $3,000 of free money. Free money. Okay? So $3,000 you put in, $3,000 they'll put in. Okay? That actually be 10%. Um, but with that being said... Um, we'll go back and we'll talk about uh, mutual funds. Uh, mutual funds are very important. Um, they're easy to pick. Um, basically, if you look for mutual funds growth, um, you're looking for any mutual funds to outperform the S&P. So the S&P is on average returning from 8% to 9%. Um, track mutual funds that improve better than um, the actual S&P market that would give you a good growth. So for example, if you would invest $10,000 um, in mutual funds and you get 10% to 11% growth, um, in 10 years you'll have roughly $189,000. I would say that again, roughly $189,000, okay? And I tell some young people, if you start saving when you're 24 and by the time you get 30, if you can save ten or fifteen thousand dollars a year by working two jobs or odd jobs, and you have eighty thousand dollars, okay, and you put that into the bank, and you let that sit there for twenty-five years, you will actually be a millionaire twice over, okay. So I tell a lot of people who do IT or who are nurses or anybody who's lucky enough to make forty or fifty thousand dollars coming out of college. Well, guess what? A year or two before that, you are literally only making $20,000 a year if you're lucky. Now, all of a sudden, you're making twice as much of that. So guess what? Live off $25,000. Live off $30,000. Bank the other $15,000. Save it. Two, three, four, five years, you'll have $50,000. Diversify. Real estate. Mutual funds. Ten years later, you'll have a nice little nest egg to diversify again. Either use $100,000 and buy a house. Either use $50,000, um, buy a house or a nice down payment or buy a car outright, okay? The number one thing that kills economic growth, okay, for oneself is credit card and credit card debt. Stay away from credit card debt. There is no free money. There is no free money. Well, thank you for listening to me talk these next uh, these last few minutes. I really appreciate it. And uh, you please take those words and advice.